Think about me. Let's go, Jake. Come on, Kel. 4.30! We got one lap left. One lap, one lap let's lap go, left. let's go, let's go. Find that next Down gear. There. Come on, this is where it comes in. Last lap. Find a way. 4.45! Attention to the car! Noticers, noticers, all classers, notice! Friendly sounded! Uniform day, duty be sirs! Noticers, noticers, all classers, notice! Friendly sounded! Uniform day, duty be sirs! Noticers, Culver Military Academy is a college preparatory school located in northern Indiana. We're a 9 through 12 boarding school that focuses primarily on leadership development, education, and extracurriculars. But unlike most high school students, you know, they have morning requirements before the, their day even starts. It teaches them uh, some self-discipline and it teaches them how to take care of themselves because if you can't do those little things, how can you really expect to do any big things? And then part of their job is to make sure the ones that they lead are doing the right thing. So the moment they wake up, they are in, it's almost like game time for them. I mean, our kids are waking up and they're moving. That's the pace of Culver, it's just fast. If you talk to Coach Posner, what he'll tell you as far as uh, teamwork, self-discipline, he doesn't really have to teach that when he gets his team together. They're already doing that every day. It's very structured, it's very purposeful, and it's very fast-paced. And by the time they get to my field, whether it's practice or a game, they're ready to go. Get there, get there. Focus and emphasis today, fellas, is pace and speed, all right? Game week. Attention to detail today, right? All right, first drill is a perfect drill. Who's having a perfect drill? Everyone. Perfect drill practice right now. All right, CB8, let's go. Our practices are controlled chaos. They're havoc. We love to get up and down. We're pushing, we're competing. Get and go, get and go. Run into it, run into it. Go, 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 go. We want our practices to be fast paced, up tempo, so that you can't lament on mistakes. You have to hit the next play. Go hard. Good, now you're in. Love it. We're very detailed with our practice plan to the minute, but the pace is, we're, we're always moving. We play very fast, I would say that's, somebody to describe our program, we play really fast. So our focus with our team to play fast is number one, they have to have really good sticks. Number two is, is the way we move the ball. You know, we have a, uh, a rule that we'd like to get rid of the ball in three seconds. No, you can't hold on longer than three seconds. We also have that, you know, when you don't have the ball, you're moving without the ball, which helps us uh, develop our early offense stuff. Midfielders at both 40s, all you're doing is switching sides, attack down there. All right, let's have a day. Pay attention to the little things. Eagles on three, one, two, three. Eagles. Go, get there, get there. Woo! Goalies down there, goalies down there. Let's go. Our job, and I tell our assistants all the time, is we need to develop their IQ. If we can develop their IQ and their understanding, how to move with the ball, how to move off the ball, how to be a great on-ball defender, how to be a great off-ball defender, then we are setting them up for success at the next level. It's the thousand interactions, the thousand plays, the thousand times you give yourself up for the greater good of the team. And I think we're really lucky that John is a phenomenally successful coach who demands a lot of himself and the, he demands a lot of his players, and they sort of respond in a very ego-free kind of way. Think about me. Three minutes! This is where the mental toughness comes in. This is where everything that we're working to, to make comes in. Today, around those corners, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be windy. All right, it's going to hurt. It's going to suck. We are probably the only high school team in the country running a mile after practice on Monday. That mile is a metaphor for something in life that's going to pop out of the blue and you're not ready for, but you got to push through it because that's what you do. You're not going to quit. You're not going to give up. 
You're gonna put your head down and you're gonna run your hardest for six minutes. You got one lap left. One lap, one let's lap go, left. let's go, let's go. Find that next gear. It proves to the kids that they're a lot stronger than they think they are. Find a way. All right. For the last eight years, every senior that I've coached has went on to play college lacrosse. Actually, since 2012, everyone's Division I. Everyone. I talked to our seniors about what's their identity this year. You know, last year the goal for our 2017 seniors was to win a national championship. They, they accomplished it. I told our team this year in goal setting, we talked, I said, well, how do you want to leave it? What's your legacy? And they said, well, of course, it's going to be back-to-back -back championships. I said, well, you'd be the only senior group that could ever claim that. John is like a father figure to a lot of the boys. I mean, he works in the admissions office, so they first meet him even before they come to the school. I think he plays a dominant role in their lives. You can tell the boys really want to please John. And I think he cares for them. I think, you know, every kid, no matter what the SSAT score is, they can, they can sense when there's a phony. John is the real deal. He honestly, he is all in with these guys and they're all in, all in with him. The one thing my seniors do before the season starts is they talk to the entire team about me as a, as a coach. And they, they always say that, listen, Coach Posner is going to be hard on you. Stop going on the side of your darn stick. Run through the ball. Coach Posner is going to be pushing you. Hey, fellas, we started that out with two people's foot on the line. We're doing it again, back on the line. But I also know when to pick them up and when they give them a pat on the back. And, and I think I have a really good pulse on my players. And the more mature I've gotten as a coach, the better I've gotten with understanding that everybody's different. Now, the expectation for every kid is the same. My message and delivery may be a little different to each kid. If you could play against my son's middle school team and they're gonna get by if we're not talking. I tell my players all the time that, that I love them and I care about them and they know I would do anything for them. So through care is trust and you know through trust is, is hard work in my opinion and it carries over to the, to the field. So you know when we're doing Mile Monday after a two hour rigorous practice like I've done enough research and realized that they can actually do it. It's not going to kill them. And in turn, you know, they, they, they do it. Guys, no other team is doing this, right? No other team is doing this. No other team has a two hour practice, all right? No other team, first of all, is waking up at 7.30 in the morning and doing all your stuff, all right? And as we always say, nobody gets Culver but Culver people, right? You guys went through the grind today, right? You went through the grind today for school, for military, then here, all right? Then you go out and have to, after a two hour grind practice, have to run a mile in record time, all right? And it's gonna pay. It's gonna pay itself forward when we look at May, all right?